Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you all are having an awesome, awesome day today. We are here in Lyons, Indiana. Lyons, Lyons. I'm sure not correct how to say it right. It's L-Y-O-N-S. Here in Indiana, staying at this outfit. We actually come in town for the Waggler um, and UCC qualifying event. Highly recommended, beautiful place. It's a bed and breakfast. They probably have about 10 rooms inside there. You can go to their website. I believe it's pleasantgroveinn.com. I'll include their information down below. Great place. If you happen to be in the area, highly recommend it. Maybe you're just wanting to get away from some of this. It's about four hours from Nashville. Not too far outside of whatever, but um, great place. We're going to start at the front, give you a walk around. I'm not going to go crazy in depth because I don't know everything about the property. I have asked a few questions to kind of get the ins and outs. So I'll just share with you what I've taken in. And um, you guys have to just come here, check it out for yourself if you're looking for you know, a nice weekend getaway and whatnot. So let's go to the front and we'll get started there. Here we are outside the front of the inn. Again, this was called Pleasant Grove and super excited to stay here. This is at the end of the property when you come in. When you come in on the property, you come down this gravel road and you go uh, probably a quarter mile. You come in past some cottages a house on the property, beautiful pond. Um, aside from the inn, they have a lot more that you can do here, or stay in here, I guess. The inn itself has probably about 10 rooms. I'm just throwing that number out there just from my walk through. They do have a Scots cabin through the trees there. Not sure if you can make it out or not. There is an old church, white church there across the property. There's a quail run cottage and a goose pond cottage. If I'm saying correct, I think the goose pond is across the road on a 20 acre track over there. This property here is set on a 30 acre track. If I caught that right before we go inside, I'm gonna have to show you this beautiful, beautiful little pond. This pond come Christmas time is filled with gorgeous Christmas lights along the back side there. This property here actually has Indiana's largest outdoor choreograph Christmas musical that begins at the front gate of the property and goes for a quarter mile. The lake stages, the lake stage here presents a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous light spectacular. It's all choreographed with music and what have you. If you're staying here and you happen to want to Bring the family out here to enjoy some meals. Great for that. Fans on the ceiling. If it's too hot, you can fish. I mean, check this out, guys. If you forget your stuff, how often does that happen when you go to travel, had no intentions of fishing, but you're here, you want to do it. They do have poles and stuff for you to utilize, tackle. If it's not stuff that you want to use, about five miles up the road, there is some shopping centers and stuff that you can go to to get stuff if you like it better but they have this nice pond here it is a stocked pond at that lots of hydro on the bottom this pond is stocked with bass bluegill crappie I wish the camera could make it out or you can catch her I mean the, the water is very very clear and clean it is filled with algae and what have you on the bottom and I'm actually catching some what appears to be bluegill swimming away as I walk on the dock. There's a bass right there. I wish I was fishing. So if you're in the area, had no intentions of fishing, you can do it here. Maybe you want to just practice with a new jig you have. Gorgeous, gorgeous place for that. Nice fountain there in the water. I myself, if, if I had my tracks as X max with my pedal tires, I would try to get the okay to do a pass on this water. Great for that. Beautiful property. Here in the back, there's the back side of the inn from an angle. My room is actually there on the second story up there. We'll do a walk through of the inn and show you that. You're able to walk down the steps there, come along back. There's a gravel walkway. There's a lookout tower onto the field. There you're able to go take in if you choose to. So many cool fish in here. I hope this camera can take it out. There's a nice small, appears to be a bass right there. At any rate, I'm the one that loves water myself, but gorgeous place. The property was actually purchased by one of the family members in the early 1800s, I think around 1850. It has loads of brochure here on the property that you're able to pick up 
and learn about your yourself. I did see that whenever they have the Christmas lights on the property, it covers about 13 acres. They do accept donations. Really neat place. Coming in last night, coming in the dark, I did not get to appreciate any of this. I just come across it through a Google search. I looked for Airbnbs in the area, nothing compared to this. When you come in, they have a guest sign-in book. They're going to sign your name in there, tell them where you're from. They had an envelope with my name on it, and inside was a card that had a PIN number for me. The PIN number, of course, got me into my room, so I didn't have to worry about checking in. So great and convenient, so I was able to come in for whatever time worked convenient for me. So here on the front porch, you guys can see beautiful, beautiful wooden chairs, a swing plants. If you time it right, you can see hummingbirds there getting nectar out of the flowers. There's also hummingbird feeders all over the property. One thing I didn't show, there is a small little pond there, and that pond I checked out this morning, I probably counted about 25 bullfrogs that just went crazy on the pond. Since I'm telling you about it, I'm gonna check it out and see if we can get him to spook. All right. Oh, crikey. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Oh, you can see, you can hear a little bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, you heard it? That was a frog. You're not gonna see him once they jump. Oh, there's another one. They're all over this thing. <laughs> if you just, I'll get quiet so you can hear them. All right, so they are not near as jumpy or whatnot as they were this morning. Those are just the ones that made it back to the edge. <laughs> but no, seriously, this morning there was at least 25 hitting that water. Of course, they're just squeaking, beep, 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 as they were getting back in the water. All right, let's get back inside. But guys, no, seriously, this place is gorgeous. So beautiful. And this is a new place here on the property. The property also has plans to put a restaurant on the property as well. All right, so we enter this door, it is left unlocked. The place does have surveillance cameras on the property. So when you're here, you will be kept safe to make sure no one's here that shouldn't be here. When we come in the property, or in the the bed and breakfast here, beautiful foyer area. Information here on the table when you come in, just beautiful decor everywhere, absolutely incredible. So they do have a sign in book there that you come and sign in, and you'll have your envelope here with your info in it. They do have a nice snack area here. So if you're needing something, you don't want to run into town, you can get drinks. They do have an honor jar up top where you'd leave the money at. Freezer full of colder goods, oatmeals, candy bars, different types of foods, hot pockets, that kind of thing. Videos, a DVD if you feel you need that. They do have Wi-Fi internet access here. And then you need to do some internet searching. Nice little, um, I'm gonna call this a conference room. So maybe you're from the area and you wanna have a business meeting or the family is here doing a family reunion. That would be ideal. Plenty of room for most of the family. You can come down here and share the dining area if you choose to in the event. You have some sort of play the family wants to put on. They do have a nice little celebration area. You can use this for, you know, birthday parties, business meetings, anything of the sorts. Possibilities are endless. The lighting is great. I mean, check out the ceiling. 
Guys, super, super cool. If you're not at a room, they do have, I'm not sure what that room is, maybe a supply closet. But I remember seeing on this side, beautiful women's bathroom and men's. So this is really convenient. So if you're doing something downstairs, there's no need to run back upstairs to do stuff now. All the rooms here, or at least ones that I've seen, are handicap accessible. The showers, there are no steps able to roll right in. It does have elevators for those that are not able to go up the stairs, maybe you're wheelchair bound, you can utilize that. Here are the stairs. We're gonna go up those in just a minute, but I wanna show you the view from the lower back. Patio here, let's call it, or back porch. I mean, guys, seriously, look at this. This is so nice. Now on the right side of the property here is where the innkeeper stays. So there is an innkeeper here in the event you need something, linens, maybe a light's not working. You do have somebody that's always here that you can call, but they stay out of your way. It's so private and convenient for you. There's things on the property over here with kids and stuff. I mean, there's a telescope here in the event. It's a clear night and you want to look at the stars. I mean, guys, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And for the price you're gonna pay to stay here, I mean, this is amazing. A clean, here's another view from the back. When I first showed you this angle, we were actually over there at the pond. Now, we're from the back of the deck, looking out to the same, there's the view tower again, over there. View tower, view station, call it what you will, a bird feeder. You're able to take this walk and go up the stairs if you choose to up to our room but we're gonna go walk back through one more time just to show you the view from the stairs that's the way I went and I want you guys to get you know my experience of it All right, here are our stairs. Beautiful wood grain handles on the side. All right, we have rooms that start here on our left upstairs. You can walk out to the patio from the top if you choose to, but we're not going that way. We're gonna hang a right and go to our room. You can go right to the end of the hall that way for your room, or you can go left. And if you see here, each room, we're staying in 206 Michael's room. There is a keypad there, so we'll put in our code that we got to come in. Now we are in. All right, so we come on in. I come in last night. Around 8, 30, 9 o'clock, it was all lit up. It was ready for me. Great place, HD television, again, Wi-Fi. There's a fireplace here, and then I need that to stay a little bit warmer. A freezer, refrigerator, microwave. Coffee table, the bed. In this bathroom, beautiful bathroom. Of course, it's a little dirty as I did stay here last night. Here's that shower that I told you about, so you're able to come in here and roll your wheelchair in here if you're in, you're not able to step up. Look at that shower, beautiful. <laughs> so cool, so cool. All right, all right, all right. So we're at the back door here onto the top deck of the porch. When I started this review, I was here. So you will you know, possibly come out here and find others out here with you. Well, that's what happens at bed and breakfasts. But guys, so gorgeous, so incredibly gorgeous. Highly recommended, great people. I did get to meet Kevin. 
the innkeeper, one of the innkeepers, super nice gentleman, gave me loads of information about the property and things in the area. If somebody was looking for something or needing something, highly recommended. And the event you, again, are in the area and are looking for a place so much better than an Airbnb or a hotel. I mean, I would vacation to come to something like this and experience what it is. If you're just wanting to get away, Again, um, make like a family reunion. This is the place for it. And if your family lives in Michigan, family lives in Georgia, you can meet in the middle right here. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you could take something from it. If you liked it, please like it. Subscribe if you have lots of cool stuff to come. Guys, have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.